Hi, so today I thought we'd have a look at the new features that Brother have put into their online software called Scan and Cut Canvas. <clears throat> so I'm logged into my account here. On the face of it, it doesn't look very much different. If you come down to the logo tab and click on that, in here you'll find that they've added lots more pre-designed words and sentiments for us. We've now got things like um, twins. Uh, there's all sorts of other things. I can't remember what all the new ones are, but there's one called My Garden or something like that. There you go, My Garden, that's one. Twins I don't remember seeing before. Team is another one. There are lots of them in here. Uh, there's some. There's one about triplets, I think, somewhere. First birthday, things like that in nice uh, fonts. So there's lots of things to look at in there. I'll just get rid of these. Then they've also given us the ability to import another file format previously. If you click on this SVG icon or you go to project and import, whichever way you want to do it. But normally in here, we've only had the facility to import SVG or FCM, which is scan and cut files. Now they've given us the ability to import DXF files. So if you've used in the past or you have other software that can save as or export as DXF, you can now utilize other previously made designs and turn them into scan and cut, cut files. And then they've also given us um, some more features which are found under the properties tab. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a basic shape for now. I'm just going to choose this square and I'm just going to um, leave it as it is for now. The default size is down here, 3.94 inches square. Now while the item on your screen is selected, if you go to the properties box, you'll now see <coughs> that it brings up some more options. So we can now precisely set our size. So if I wanted to make this a five by five card, it would need to be 10 inches wide and five inches high. So if I untick the maintain aspect ratio, and then I can highlight in here and type five and hit enter, and then I can highlight in here and type 10 and hit enter. It's now made me a five by 10 card. If I wanted to maintain the ratio of this shape, obviously I would leave that box set. And then if I wanted to say make the height six inches, I could type in six and hit return and it would make it six by 12 but I only want it five inches. You can also use the up and down arrows. So if I take it down to five inches, you can see it's gone back down to 10. They've also given us the facility to have a, a, a dashed or fold line. So for card makers, you may want to utilize this facility or if you want to make boxes, I don't necessarily like the dashed or fold line on my cards. I prefer to fold them with a bone folder. But I have posted a card recently on my blog that I gave away as a free cutting file. It's a Halloween file. And it did put the dash line in there for you to try it and see what you think yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we've got our card base, which, you know, would be a five by five card. Down here, under line type, you've got the facility to set how you want the line to be. So if this is going to be a, a, a shaped card, then you don't. it doesn't matter whether you have cutting or drawing, but now we've got this extra facility, it, it would be best if you get into the habit of choosing your cut or draw lines, as I've shown you in a previous video for when you take your file to the scan and cut machine. So I'm going to set this shape as a cut line and by default under here where it says dash pattern it's a solid line so that means that that shape will cut as a solid shape when I take it to the machine. 
I'm going to come over here to this icon called path icon and select that. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to click with my left mouse and drag a line out and double click to let go. And that's now given me a straight line. <clears throat> I'm going to select both. I'm going to come to edit, align, center and edit, align, middle. And that now puts that line directly in the middle of that box. Yeah. But now if I left that as it was and took it to the scan and cut machine, basically it, and it would cut this and then it would cut that. So I'd end up with two bits of five by five card, which is not what we want. So I'm going to select the line <clears throat> and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click cut line because I want it to cut, but not in a solid line. And then I'm going to come here, click on the down arrow, and I'm going to choose one of the dashed options. So I'll think, I think I'll choose the first one because I think that's what I chose from memory when I applied it to the Halloween card that's on my blog. So if you do cut that card and you have a look at the dash line, you'll see how this one cuts. And if you want, if you're happy with that, then you know to choose that first one each time you use it. But if you want the line to be a bit bigger then or more spaced apart, you could choose that one or this third one. So I'm just going to select it again. It's not easy to select because it's I'm going to zoom in just on the line so that I can just select it. There you go. So I've set it as a cut line, but I've also down here now set it as a dash line. So that means that this will dash and the rest of it will cut. So if I just close that down and zoom back out for a minute, then I would drag an imaginary box around both and I would right click and group and then save that file over here as 5 by 5 card, save it into my projects, it's told me it's saved, then when I want it, download it, put it on a USB stick and away you go. So that's that option. So I'm going to get rid of that now because I don't need it. Then the other thing that they've given us, well actually no, I'll just go back to this one again for a minute now. So on our Facebook page I posted something that I'd done which people seem to like the idea of. So I'll show you how I did that. So I chose this scallop shape. I'm going to click the properties. I'm going to take it up to six by six, just so you can see it on screen better. Then what I did, I selected it. I chose it as a cut line. I've got my line there by default as a straight line. Then while it was selected, I went to the offset line and I clicked on inward and I made it 0 0.16, I think, from memory and said OK. And that's given me this inward line here that you can see. So I selected that. And then I came over here and I made this inward line a draw line, came down here. And I chose, I think I chose the last one, but I'm not sure. And I chose that one. And then again, I selected both, right click and group. And I saved that with a name up here. And I also posted that on my blog, a picture of it to show you what I did. But basically all that happened is I loaded my card up, uh, my mat up with white card it cut this outside scallop shape for me, then it stopped, I took the blade out, I put the pen in, went back to the design, clicked on the draw icon and it drew in all these dashed lines for me and it, it looked really good and they're all uniform and if you like to do dash cards around your cards or shapes and things it's just a, a nice way 
of using this facility we've got in the software. You could also do this with text. So we'll go to the text tool and just for ease I'll choose this first font here top left. It says Antique Oakland Bold and <clears throat> we'll, type, we'll type canvas. We'll do it in capitals just so it's easy to see on screen. Okay. While it's selected, come to the properties box. You can see under the text, now we've got text on our page, it's brought this little text box up that wasn't here a few minutes ago and it's telling you what your font is. If you decide you don't want that font, you want to try a different one, you can choose that and it's given us another font. Or we can go to Germany, which will be this one. We can go to, um, let's try that one. Here we go, is this stencil font. So all the fonts that are here are now in here. So it's just a quick way of changing the style of how you want the design to look. So I'm just going to close that down. Then if I come up here while this is still selected and choose and outward this time and we'll leave it as the default 0 0.2 and say OK. I've now got a mat around it as you can see. OK, so I'm going to choose that outside mat, go to the properties box, make that my cut line, then I'm going to choose the inside letters I might have to send it to the back, it's not letting me choose the letters. Yeah, there you go, I've got the inside letters this time. So I'm going to choose the inside letters, come to the properties box, make those a draw line and set it to dashed. And you can see on screen they've, they've dashed. So again, I would select both, right click and group. And then what you would get in this instance is you'd have your card that would cut out all around here, this solid line, then you could load your pen up and you could dash the word with a pen. So that's another effect. And then they've also given us, um, I'll just choose another shape. Choose this one just for now. It's not a great example, but you'll get the idea. So I've got the shape here on screen squash it down a bit, go to properties. Now you've got the option here to set the degrees. So you can click on the up arrows and move it in five degree increments. You can type zero and set it back to zero. Or if you had something on your screen and you wanted to rotate it 45 degrees, you can just type 45 and hit enter. So that's another option that they've given us all under this properties box in Canvas. So have a play with it. I think this new dash, dash feature is a really good idea. Even if you don't use it as a dashed or fold line in a card or a box, utilize the pen with it. You could put this on any shape that's in here. So if we, if we choose a heart and then we do an inset or an outset, I suppose it doesn't really matter just for this, just to show you. You can then choose the inner line and make that a draw line with a dash. So you can utilize it and, you know, with the colored pens that we get with the scan and cut machine or we buy for the scan and cut machine, you can be decorating up all these shapes. So I hope you find that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and leave me any questions or comments in the box below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.